The process of evaluation of the triple integration is very much the same as we did for the double integration. So let's say we're given some functional which depends now on the three variables x, y, and z, and we need to integrate this over some region B, where the B is defined by the points x, y, and z, where the x, y, and z, all of the three variables, would change between the t constants. And in this case, we would integrate this functional with respect to one of the variables, for example, with respect to the x first, where the x changes between a and b, then we would integrate this with respect to the y, from C to the D, then we would integrate this with respect to the Z from S to the T. And it doesn't matter in which order we would integrate this. So you can choose the Y as the first variable to integrate and then X, then the Z, or Z to be integrated first, then X and Y, and it doesn't matter really what is the order of the integration since all the three variables are changing between the lines, between the constants. So let's consider an example how to do this technically. So we need to evaluate this integration over the region B, where the B is defined by the points where the x, y, and z would change between the lines. Basically, this B is some cubic rectangle. So let's start integrating this function with respect to the z first. So since 8x, y do not depend on the z, we would take them out from the brackets or from the integration. It would be the z dz from 0 to the 1, and the antiderivative of the z would be z square over t, and when it evaluated 0 and 1, if I would substitute the 1, it would be simply 4xy. Now we need to integrate 4xy with respect to the y, where it changes between 1 and t. The antiderivative of this function would be equal to the 4x multiplied to the y square over t, and we need to substitute 1 and t. If I would substitute the t, it would be 4x multiplied to the t minus, if I substitute the 1, it would be 4x multiplied to the 1 over t. Basically, it would be 8x minus tx, which is 6x. So at the, at the end, we need to just integrate a 6x with respect to the x, where x changes between t and 3, the antiderivative of the 6x would be 3x squared, and we need to substitute the t and 3. If I would substitute the 3, it would be 3 multiplied to the 3 in a square, which is 9, minus 3 multiplied to the 4. So this is going to be 27 minus 12, which is going to be 15. So the value of this triple integration is equal to the 15 if I would integrate this functional over this region B. Now let's consider the cases where this region B is given in, in general case. So in a general case, I would define this region B in this way. So the points inside this B would be defined between the T surfaces. Basically, the Z coordinates would, would change between one surface and another surface. The Y coordinates would change between the T functions of the X. Then the X coordinates would change only between the T constants. And in this case, the triple integration would be equal to the integration of this function f of x, y, and z with respect to the z first because the z variable is changing between the t surfaces so between u1 and u2, which are the multivariable functions as well. Then I would integrate this with respect to the y where the y changes between the t functions of the x. And at the end, where everything depends on the x, I would integrate this with respect to the x, where x changes between the constants a and b. So let's consider an example how it works technically. So what we would like to do is we would like to evaluate the integration of the z over the region b, where the b region is bounded by these four planes x is equal to the 0, y is equal to the 0, z is equal to the 0, and z is equal to the 1 minus x minus y. So if I look to the figures of these four planes, I will see this region. Purple plane is z is equal to the 1 minus x minus y. This is z is equal to the 0. So z is equal to the 0 means we can choose the points only from the x, y plane. This plane is going to be y is equal to the 0 because this is the x, z plane. We can choose the points only in this plane. And the last plane is this one, the orange one, which is going to be x is equal to the 0. And the region which we define it is 
inside this object. We would like to define this beat. So inside this tetrahedron. So in order to define this, we would define how the z points are changing. In order to do this, so we need to figure out the coordinates of all the points inside this tetrahedron. So we would choose first of all the points on the xy plane. And whenever we choose some points, we would choose how the z coordinates at that point are changing. For example, if I would choose the point here, the z coordinates of the point along this line would change between 0 and 1. And if I choose the z, so some coordinates, some points here on the xy plane, the z coordinates would change from the bottom until the top of this to try it on. So the z points are always going to change between the plane on the bottom, which is going to be simply z is equal to 0, and this plane. So we can write down the region. So let's build up the region. So the B is going to be the set of points in the form of X, Y, and Z, where the Z would change between the two planes. Plane Z is equal to the zero, and another plane, which is one minus X minus Y. Now we need to define how we can choose all the points inside this triangle. In order to do this, let's look to this triangle on the X, Y plane separately. So this is our triangle and I would like to define all the points inside this triangle. In order to understand how the x and y is going to change, let's create a grid here. So let's take, let's make the horizontal lines every 0 0.25 and let's make vertical lines every 0 0.25, roughly like this. And what I would like to do is I would like to find the coordinates of all these points which are inside our region. So for example, the coordinates of this point are 0, 0. This point is going to be 0, 0, 25. This point is 0, 0, 0, 5. So this point is 0 and 0, 75. This one is 0 and 1. So you see, so for all of these points, the x coordinates are equal to the 0, and y coordinates are changing from 0 until 1 in a step of 0, 25. Then we would go to this next column, next column, and so on. So what I can do is I can write down the loop x is equal to the zero, for example, right? Once the x is equal to the zero, I can change the y. I would change the y from zero until one minus x in a step of zero twenty-five. So when the x is equal to the zero, I would change the y from zero until one minus x in a step of zero twenty-five. For example, when x is equal to the 0, I would get all of this 5 points. When x is equal to the 0 0.25, so basically I would change the x here in the outer loop until 1. So the next x would be 0 0.25, and if I choose the 0 0.25 for the x, I could choose only 4 points until 0 0.75, right? Indeed, I would change the y from 0 until 0 0.75 because x is equal to 0 0.25. So I would choose the x and y coordinates. I would finish this loop and this loop. So this region, this triangular region, would be the x changes between the t constants 0 and 1. What does it mean? It means that I'm going to choose all the values for the x, and by fixing one of the values for the x, I would choose all the values vertically for the y. So the y would change between the two lines, between this line and this line. So the equation of this line is going to be 1 minus x, and the equation of this line is equal simply to be equal to the 0. So this is y is equal to the 0, this is y 1 minus x. So y would change between the two lines, between 0 and 1 minus x. So let us define, first of all, the whole region now. So this is going to be y changes between 0 and 1 minus x, and at the end x changes between 0 and 1. So now we would just integrate everything. So we need to integrate simply z, first of all, with respect to the z. So where the z is going to change between 0 and 1 minus x minus y. So the antiderivative of this is z square over t, and we have to substitute 0 in 1 minus x minus y instead of z. It is going to be a 1 over t multiplied to the 1 minus x minus y in the square. Now we need to integrate this with respect to the y, where the y would change between 0 and 1 minus x. So the integration of this 
function is very much straightforward. It's going to be 1 over t, 1 minus x minus y in a cube, multiply it as a 1 over 3, or divide it as a 3, multiply it as a minus 1 because of this minus here. Now we need to substitute the 0 and 1 minus x instead of y here. It is going to be 1 over t, 1 minus x, instead of y we need to substitute 1 minus x, it's going to be minus 1 minus x in a cube, multiplied as a 1 over 3, multiplied as a minus 1, minus 1 over t, 1 minus x, instead of y we need to substitute 0, it's going to be simple 0 in a cube, multiplied as a 1 over 3, multiplied as a minus 1. So this term is equal to the 0 since 1 minus x minus 1 minus x is going to be simply equal to the 0. And the next term is going to be equal to the plus. It is going to be plus 1 over 6 multiplied as a 1 minus x in a cube. And at the end, we just need to integrate 1 over 6, 1 minus x cube with respect to the x where x changes between 0 and 1. And its antiderivative would be 1 over 6 multiplied to say 1 minus x in the power of 4 multiplied as a 1 over 4. And additionally, we have to multiply this as a minus 1 because of this minus 1. So we need to substitute the 0 and 1. If I would substitute the 1, it would be minus 1 over 24, 1 minus 1 in the power of 4. And if I substitute the 0, it's going to be plus 1 over 24, 1 minus 0 in the power of 4. So this term is equal to the 0 since 1 minus 1 is 0. And the next term is going to be 1 over 24. So this is how we need to evaluate the triple integration over the general regions.